What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. I'm your host Ben and I've been using WatchOS 7.1 release candidate for about eight hours now. And all I can say at this time is that Apple finally did it. Now, if we look at how this update came in for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 that I have here, the update size that I was prompted is 103 megabytes. It's such a small file, yet brings about so many good changes. And I'm actually updating from beta 4, so expect almost the same size. That's the average update size if you are updating from beta 4 to the 7.1 release candidate. Also, if we go to see the software version that we have here with this 7.1 update, you can see that the build number that came with this update is 18R589. This build number depicts a final build. It has no letter at the end. So when the official version comes out, this could be the build number or it should be the build number that will be there when you update officially to 7.1. Now, it brings about so many changes and features and good security updates. And let's look at some of those changes here. The first one is that WatchOS 7.1 adds the ability to be notified when your headphone audio level could impact your hearing. This is all thanks to iOS 14.2, the GM or the release candidate that added this feature. So on your iPhone, if you want to see this, if you go to your settings and then go to sound and haptics, and then click where it says reduce loud noise, you will get a notification from your watch if the noise level exceeds that which you have set. Now, it is advised not to set a noise level that is above 90 dBs. And by default, when you go to your iPhone setting, the level that it's set on is 85 dBs. So I would recommend if this is a feature you are going to be using, do not pass 85 decibels. This is different from what we had on the watch. The watch has an environmental noise detection and this is in addition to that, this works with the headphones. So it's going to alert you both if your headphone noise level exceeds the set threshold and also your environmental noise if it exceeds 90 decibels, which is what is currently set in the watch noise section there. So WatchOS 7.1 adds ECG support for the Apple Watch Series 4 and later in the Republic of Korea and Russia. Also today there was a small animation that Apple showed off when it comes to ECG so this is how the animation looks like and it's basically showing you how ECG works using the Apple Watch that you know there's a pulse that comes from your heart and then it travels all the way you know to where your watch is and then that is how the Apple Watch is able to measure ECG. Pretty cool animation I think I like it looks simple and straightforward forward. Also, with regards to ECG, WatchOS 7.1 adds support for irregular heart rhythm notification in the Republic of Korea and Russia. So Russia and Republic of Korea, they're getting a lot when it comes to this update. So it's pretty cool to see that these regions have now been added to ECG support for the Apple Watch. Also, this update resolves an issue whereby certain users were not able to unlock their marks using the Apple Watch, which is a cool feature. If you're wearing your watch, you can easily unlock your mark. And with this 7.1, that feature is now up and running. Also, this update fixes an issue whereby for some users, Fortunately, I didn't experience this, but for some users, when you would raise your hand, your watch would continue to be darker and wouldn't light up. So 7.1 fixes that bug. Now, when it comes to some other WatchOS 7.1 features we've seen during the beta stages leading up to this update that we've heard, we've seen new emojis that were added with this update. Some have to do with new type of food and also some have to do with new type of faces. And there's a ton of emojis and this is basically a list of all the emojis that were added. They came to iOS first and then later came to WatchOS 7.1. So those are now finally here. 
also during the beta stages there were times where the apple watch had missing watch faces especially those newer watch os 7 watch faces so they are now available and you can easily change your watch face on watch os 7.1 which is also a good fix now for those that have the apple watch series 6 blood oxygen measuring is finally working before there was an issue whereby it would fluctuate between 90 to 100 so it wasn't certain you would do the same test with the same firmness on your wrist and you would you know get different measurements so this watch away 7.1 also fixes that issue with siri you can now send proper messages so there was an issue with that and that has been fixed so all you need to do is just to activate siri and then ask siri to send a specific message to a recipient and that will now work with watch away 7.1 and also within the messages app if you are using it to send your location before there was an issue whereby it would crop the map section so that has also been fixed with this update also just to add on in the background of this watch away 7.1 there's a lot of stability improvements not mentioned apple just mentioned that there's a lot of stability improvements a lot of bug fixes and a lot of security improvements so it's so far a good update i've been using it for about eight hours and i'm loving the experience now when it comes to some of the bugs that i've noticed so far i noticed that after updating my phone would still tell me that there's an update so I had to go to the settings of my phone and after going to the update and trying to update the watch that has already been updated, that bug simply disappeared. Another bug that I noticed has to do with the time. There was a time whereby the watch was sinking behind the iPhone by like three minutes but upon raising my wrist like this i noticed that the time actually moved like fast forward to the current time so that bug happened once and uh so far i haven't had it again so it seems to be okay as of now i will update you on twitter if it comes back again another issue that i experienced a little bit has to do with after updating this watch it went unresponsive for some seconds for like 15 seconds so i don't know if that was perhaps me trying to rush things or a bug but this is something that you'd want to check out when it comes to this watch away 7.1 after you update so when it comes to battery and performance for me so far on my Apple Watch Series 6. If we go to the battery section there, just to see how my watch has been performing. So if you go to the battery section, you can see that I have 91% and I've been using my watch for about eight hours since I upgraded. And you can see that I've only managed to use like 9% like of my total percentage charge, which is not too bad. And if we go to see the battery health, you can see that my maximum health capacity is still on 100%. So there is no change there. And when it comes to, you know, my battery usage, you can see basically that around 12 p.m. that's when I updated and connected my watch to the charger and it charged all the way to 100 and you can see that it's you know it didn't drop drastically it's dropping a little bit which is normal now when it comes to performance I really can complain I mean applications are working as they are supposed to watch faces I'm able to change watch faces like I'm supposed to and I'm enjoying my experience so far with watch away 7.1 now whether you should update it or not i believe that yes if you are on watch away 7.1 beta 4 this is the successor to that and so far it's amazing it's so stable i mean you can even tell that it's faster than before i wish i had like geekbench 5 to show you on the watch so that you know you can see the numbers themselves but in terms of stability it is very stable and i'm enjoying my experience so far now when it comes to when it could possibly be released to the public since this is like a gm or a release candidate version we can sort of expect it after the apple silicon event which is supposed to take place on tuesday the 10th of november so since this week is a busy week i mean with elections and so on so we might not see an update this week plus apple has just announced you know the date of the apple silicon max and just like what they did with the iphone 12 event when they announced the event they didn't release any updates during that week so i think that there's a high probability that we won't see anything this week but most probably this update will be released officially to the public 
next week so that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below and stick around as we have a lot more watch away 7 content and also apple watch content so stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace